final mystery of Dee's Benorum is given as the Holy Table, serving as a bridge between the Benorum and the Enochian systems. Although the outer ring of letters has never been deciphered in its meaning, the interiormost square of the Holy Table derives from a peculiar arrangement of several names from the Benorum, the derivation for which John D. has left a series of subtle clues in one of his ciphers. Here we see, according to Donald Tyson, a later D. scholar, an interpretation of the same graph as previously, given by D. himself. Here is Pat and Gerald Zalewski's version of the same rearrangement of letters. And here is my own duplication of this chart according to a slight rotation of the interiormost square, which in turn yields the original square of letters at the center of the holy table given by John D. Now, there also exists another version of the holy table in the language of the Enochian alphabet, a series of letters created by D himself and attributed to be Atlantean in age and angelic in origin. And here we can see the holy table in the Enochian alphabet adorned with the seven so-called ensigns of creation. The ensigns of creation are another invention of John Dee's, each assigned to one of the seven planets which have not yet been deciphered in their meaning or method of derivation. At one point, Robert Flood, another scholar to have studied John D, attributed these letters on the ensigns of creation to the names of 72 goetic influences from the grimoire or lesser key of King Solomon. Although there is absolutely no evidence to support this attribution by Flood, and it is unlikely that John D. himself made this connection. Notice also that the order of the planets for the seven ensigns of creation is different than the order of the seven planets for the Benorum, princes, and ministers. And so we see that the meaning of each of the seven ensigns of creation is as of yet unknown, as well as the reason for its placement relative to the others around the holy table, the usual depiction of which in Enochian is actually a reflection or mirror image of the original Enochian version of the holy table that was used by John D. himself. Although there does exist a second layman in the Enochian alphabet known to have been created and used by John D. himself, it's translation can be known, although so far its meaning and derivation remain undeciphered by scholars. And finally we come to John Dee's initial or first attempt at a layman, which he subsequently considered to be goetic and discarded from his working, a trend which was followed by all subsequent scholars in their interpretation of it, despite the fact this layman probably holds the key to deciphering all the rest.